I have done several videos over the last year covering many Linux distributions. As most people out there that watch my channel know, I use Manjaro. I am now on five years of using it for my business and a little bit over a year using it for my content creation. If you go to my channel, I have done complete videos on how to leave Windows and go to Manjaro, how to do your settings, how to set up software, apps, your AUR, everything you need to make Manjaro the perfect operating system for you. And I have sang its praises, telling you how great it is. I've had people in my comments tell me it's not worth a flip. Every time it updates, it breaks. And I tell them I've never had that problem. I've never had issues. We had update 21.2.4 just the other day. And it's time for me to eat my words because Manjaro totally broke on me. That is what we're going to cover today on eBuzz Central. Today's video is brought to you by the eBuzz Central store, your one stop shop for anything Linux related, all the way from Arch Linux to Linux Mint. We've got t shirts, hoodies, hats phone cases, mugs, water bottles, whatever you might need with a Linux theme, we have it. So zip on over, check out the store. If you see something you like, pick it up today. And if there's something you would like to see on the store that's not there, let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to get it on the store. Now to my Manjaro desktop. We are presently at my Manjaro desktop. I want to go ahead and say this right at the beginning of the video so I maybe weed out some comments that'll be no-brainers. Everything I'm showing you that is broke today is presently working on a secondary laptop I have with Endeavor OS with no issues at all because I just got done testing it. Now the first thing I want to point out and get out of the way is OBS. I don't know if any of you out there are familiar with OBS Studio but if you are, with the full integration of Pipewire in Manjaro now, every time I go in, I have to set up my screen capture. You can't just set it and roll with it anymore. It's got to be set every time you open it. I know it's a little thing, but at the same time, it does bother me. Not to mention some microphone issues that I've been having, and I've had to work hours upon hours just to get them fixed. And on a lot of my videos, they still aren't fixed. I've got heavy S sounds, almost crackling. I've fought through that and you guys have still watched my videos, so thank you for that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zip on over here to Shotcut. Let's open it up. And anybody that has done any kind of editing in Shotcut knows it's easy. You just open this folder up, find your video, drag it, drop it, and once it's dropped over here you have it. But here's the problem I'm having. It starts playing here, but it's not over here where I can drag it on a timeline and actually edit the video. Now, before you all say that's Shotcut's fault, no, it's not because I'm running the same version of Shotcut on Endeavor OS and I am not having any issues at all. Okay, so let's see what Caden Live does. Let's close this out. Open up Caden Live. Let's go ahead and open up our folder drag and drop absolutely nothing I drag dropped it's not in my project bin I can't put anything down here it just broke and it's not that way on Endeavor right now I don't understand what this update did I'm gonna go ahead and close out of Caden live another thing I want to point out is when I boot into my system come to my login screen I go to type in my password absolutely nothing I can type, 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 doesn't even recognize my keyboard, so I have to restart the operating system probably three or four times, then it'll pick up my keyboard, and then I can actually log in. Next thing I want to bring up is VirtualBox, and I'm going to go ahead, I have everything set, I have my settings set, I have my storage, I have Nitrix right here, I'm going to click OK and click Start. And I know this is kind of boring for y'all, but I want to show you the issues I'm having. You've listened to me sing the praises of Manjaro for well over a year now, and these issues I am not experiencing on Endeavor. And while this is loading up, 
I want to let everybody know before you start putting in the comments, yes, I do have the right kernel assignment downloaded for VirtualBox, so that's not the issue. And I can load up Nitrix on the Endeavor machine with no issues. Now Nitrix is loaded up. We should see the dock pop up here and then a bar up top, taskbar up top, if it actually goes through the process. And as you can see, nothing come up. And here is even a worse problem. My mouse is locked up, not working. I'm going to go ahead and hit my Windows key on my system. Nothing. So I'm going to have to come. Let me try Alt Tab. Alt Tab is not working. I have completely locked up. So what I'm going to do at this moment is I'm going to restart my system and be right back with you all. Okay, I am back. I had to restart my system two times so it could recognize my keyboard. Next thing I want to point out is what happens when you open GNOME boxes. We're going to go up here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and add it totally brand new. And click next. And then we'll leave that where it's at. And then just let the system boot up. We should have the same thing here. It should pop up with the dock in the top bar, even though it's doing it extremely slower than what I'm getting on my Endeavor machine. And for those of you out there asking why do I have an Endeavor machine, it's just a backup and comparison machine so I can kind of see that operating systems are running, you know, the same speeds, downloading approximately the same. That way I can kind of catch things when they're not quite right. And Nitrix pops up. Now we should see down here the dock pop up and it does and there's your top panel right there so let's go ahead and go to settings and then go to your display and monitor and let's go ahead and change the resolution and click apply go ahead and drag that up and let's go ahead and close that out and let's go down here and open something up Okay, let's go full screen. Let's go ahead and close this. I'm trying to close it and it's opening up the Windows button. And yes, I am using the right button on the mouse. Let's try it again. Let's keep clicking. Oh, finally went through, there we go. These are just issues that I'm having with virtual machines right now and I really don't know why I'm having these issues on Manjaro so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip on over here and just close out and back out okay the mouse quit working let me try the trackpad trackpads not working let me go to the power key nothing so it is locked up again So let me go ahead and just power this completely off and I will be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I'm back after the restart. One last thing I want to show you that bothers me is if you go over here to your add and remove software, let's go ahead and do a search. And I'm just going to type something in here pretty quick. I'm going to type in Caden Live and it pauses. Did you see that lag? And now I'm backspacing and it lags. I never had that before, but now it's loaded up, it seems to go quicker. Let's try OBS Studio, and it lags again. I've never had this problem before. I know these seem small to you guys, but to me, it's just, wait a second, if I wanted the laggy feel, I would go with Windows. There's GIMP. GIMP seems to type pretty quick. Let's try LibreOffice. And it's like it's happened to catch up. I don't understand it. I'm using a Ryzen 5, 16 gigabytes of RAM, no issues in the past. It's just this update completely messed everything up. Let's go ahead and see HTOP. Let's see what we're using on... Okay, I'm sorry. I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. And right now, with OBS running in the background, it's at 4.5 gigs. Prior to this, I would not break 3 gigabytes using OBS. 
I don't understand what happened to the resource usage. I don't understand what's going on here. It makes absolutely no sense. Now, before you all ask, yes, I did, when I had these problems earlier, completely wipe the drive after I backed up all of my content, reinstalled it fresh, and still had the same issues. So this isn't a, it's updated and it's time just to reinstall because I've done that. I have tried it without swap and with swap. Same issues. Matter of fact, without swap, it actually goes slower. So I'm not quite understanding what happened with this update on Manjaro. And I do have to eat my words because I've always stated I've never had a problem in five years. Now my business computers aren't going to have this problem because they don't rely a lot on virtualization or video editing and things like that. But there are some issues with them running a little slower because I updated both of them. So if you all might have some answers out there, let me know because right now I'm not happy. I had something that was running perfect and now it's not anymore and it's kind of frustrating. And I kind of uh, agree with some of the people in the past that have had issues like this. Maybe I was just lucky for five years and I'm finally having to pay for that now. But this most recent update of Manjaro has really just kind of wrecked my content creation. And if it's not fixed here soon, I'm going to have to go to a different distribution because I can't fight being able to open things up in a virtual box or in GNOME boxes and record and do videos. Tell me what you all think. Are you using Manjaro? Are you experiencing issues since this update? Please let me know in the comments below. And I promise you, if I come up with some answers, I'll definitely do a video on it and let you all know how to fix them or if there's an update and a bug fix coming from Manjaro. Please zip on over to the eBuzz store, check it out, and like I said, if there's something you'd like to see that's not on there, let us know about it. Do me a favor before you leave today, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the content that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.